901 uh, diesel boat is equipped with a uh, full cover. The trailer's not part of the package. Cockpit area of the 2901 walk around. Diesel powered boat with the stern drive. There's a lot of uh, seating on the port and uh, starboard side here. This boat also has an extended uh, swim step to take a better shot on shore. This is the uh, bait tank on the port side. It's got an integrated bait tank here for squid or bait. And then you have a full 48 gallon tank here in the back. It's got a little cutting board and arrangement. Also has a window. Get some light into the tank. Battery switches, this is your main switches for your battery systems here. Kind of convenient, you don't have to open the engine in to uh, have access. Our cruiser coming ES200s, fresh water cool. We're in good shape. Uh, engines have been very well maintained. Your uh, sea strainers there. Very little corrosion. Of course, uh, turbocharged. There's your batteries, banks here, all your through holes on the port side of the boat. Then this whole hatch comes down. There's an integrated seat. This has a fresh water wash down shower right there. You have kind of a two layer deck. A higher deck, and you have a custom fiberglass, one of a kind for a 2901 stern drive. One is equipped with uh, in deck fish boxes. They have macerators. They also have a gas assist. They're very well drained, even the scuppers, so any water will go down into the scuffers as opposed to going down to the hatch if you want to use it for dry storage. There's also raw water wash down as you can see. Enter the boat here, you have a primary cockpit and then you have two uh, back facing seats that also have dry storage or can be used as boxes. Same thing on the starboard side. Again, this person's using it for dry storage but those have overboard drains. Fire extinguisher. Walk up to the helm area here. It's got a flip up bolster so you can stand at the helm. Boat's very well equipped autopilot, two chart plotters. Also has a uh, six kilowatt open array radar system, dual binnacles. Also has um, radar, uh, ray core, fuel water separator gauges tell you if you ever get fuel in your diesel I mean I'm sorry water in your diesel this is the uh, dash layout for this twin engine boat excellent performance characteristics on this boat as well we can send you some test data on request it's got a uh, boost gauge these are all a lot of custom extra features you normally don't find on this again you have a nav net NT max BX2 for Runo, and you have a Lowrance CLC X11 color, so you can have one full screen for your sounder, one full screen for your radar or a fafometer. This is a high performance 1000 watt transducer as well. And again, additional gauges. Here's your uh, autopilot. VHF radio in the area. Got a nice high back double seat and then tank storage. Into this area Cup holders. As you go into the cabin area. Going into the cabin area of the 2901. Has a V berth. And then, unique thing about this boat for a sport fishing boat, you have a you have a hanging closet here. 
cedar line and then you have a full uh, marine head with the shower, back you flush head. This boat this does have a full uh, aft cabin. I'm using this for storage right now because it's just a couple that has the boat. But that will sleep uh, two people. This is the panel. This is the galley area. It has a refrigerator. Electric alcohol stove, stereo system. And this is your fuse uh, panel. This boat also has an inverter system so you can run your microwave. As you go along the walk around here, got a nice long walk around. You've got the uh, hard top, it also has uh, outriggers. Radar system. Uh, extra oversized diameter, all welded bow rail. As you come to the front here, which has a uh, Automatic anchor windlass, it's all recessed, which is a nice feature. You can control it from the helm or there's foot controls. Heavy duty uh, Bruce anchor. You go from the bow to the stern of the boat, from the pulpit. It does have a full Isenglass enclosure for the uh, hard top. Yeah, the boat needs a little bath. It's been raining in here, but it's in uh, very, very good uh, condition. This is all non skidded, even up here in the cabin top of the cabin area, so if you want to walk up here or if you want to put a small spotting tower, you do have access. There's even a walk-through uh, windshield. You access the bow area if it gets removed. Walk so this boat does have a handle on each side, the port and starboard side of the uh, hard top. It's another storage area. Uh, big deep box, about three and a half feet deep by six feet wide port to starboard between the two seats as you go into the uh, cockpit of a boat or the helm area. Hardtop has some uh, additional storage zipper compartments here. There's also like fluorescent lights to give you lighting at night. This has a couple other upgrades. There's uh, LED lights for the running lights and rod holders here on the side of the uh, so here's the view from the swim step there's a starboard entry door again very very large cockpit plenty of room to accommodate the uh, big tank it was originally custom ordered with the heavy duty Bravo 2 drives these are the commercial drives uh, and service annually in very good condition. This boat's kept about half the year in a slip. It's still in very good condition. It's got some swim group step. It's got an integrated dive ladder, trim tabs. It's got two transducers. Half view of the boat. This has a custom gel coat, uh, black stripe there. As you can see, that was all custom done. Twin diesel, 2901, walk around.